Hi, this is John Stewart, Alamo City Cello, and I just played a, an excerpt from Sasson's first cello concerto in A minor. And this excerpt is really the first hurdle that we need to overcome in order to perform this piece. And it's pretty tricky, so I want to pr uh, practice this with you and get your cello because we're going to play along and uh, this is going to be fun, okay? So I've already made a video that covers from about C to about six or seven measures into that. So where I want to start now is the third measure last note. Let me play this for you slowly. I want to play this because this is the trickiest part of the passage, I think. It's really tricky to get in tune, isn't it? So let's talk about some practice strategies that'll help. First of all, build on the bass. So practice only the lower note. So from the same place, but I'm only gonna play the low note on the G, the G string notes. So that goes like this. One, two, three. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. One, two, three. should end on a B flat. And we did, and we did. Can we try that again? So I'm starting the last note of the third measure, only the lower notes, and only first fingers. So it's one, sorry, uh, one, two, three. Okay, practice that a few times. Now let's add in the note, the second note, the, the D string note. So that'll be like this. Can we try that again? So it starts off in fourth position. So on an up bow, one, two, three. Then on par with that. Okay, clear as mud. Now we're gonna add the high note to that. So um, it goes like this. Let's try that again, one more time. One, two, three. Okay, rewind that and play that a few times. I really hope that this helps. I really do. Now, we have the high section. So um, before the Allegro Molto, we're starting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The second note of seven before the Allegro Molto. So it goes like this.
practice this is to start with the t the high voice first. So this is only third fingers on only the high voice. So, so, so it goes one, two, ready, go. fourth fingers and second fingers, so I, I stand corrected on that. Can we try that again? Only the high voice. Ready, go. Now, let's... Uh, Play the lower voice so it's again hopefully I'm playing the right notes <laughs> well let's see we'll put them together no 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 we'll do the lower the lower ones again so from there, it's, it's a lower. What is that note? It starts on B. Let's put them together now. Slow, slow, slow. practice for me too you know <laughs> I'm not saying I'm perfect can't hurt right let's do it again ready go wait hold on are we in tune mm -hmm. what is that interval NBC right or my body it's the sixth sixth here we go That's better. Look, just working it over slow is definitely going to help. It's definitely going to help the cause. That last little bit where it goes into bass clef, this is before the allegro molto one, two, three, four. So it goes. I like starting this in in on the C string because I think it has a a more forceful sound as opposed to open G. So this is the finger that I start on second finger extended to. So I'm three, four. Then again, three, four. Then three, four again. Then two, one. Three, four. Then two, harm. First finger. Let me play th through that again slowly for you. And there's other fingering possibilities, but I like this one. I think this is a good one. Do I have left? Uh, oh, gotta go. Bye.